Weather Whiz Kid time. We've got two kids today yeah. asking questions. And some pretty cool questions and cool drawings as well. I do. I good love artists. those. Yeah, these are sharp kids and they're good artists as well. And so they certainly beat me in that category, but I will <laughs> answer the weather questions. Questions from something that is going to be affecting us as we move through the spring and summer. And we're talking about thunderstorms. My name is Dyson Lish and I go to CN Elementary and my question is, how does hail form in clouds? Hi, my name is Rachel Bernhardt and I go to Sienna Elementary and my question is, what causes lightning storms? Great questions right there. What causes hail and what causes lightning? So let's start first of all with the hail. And in hail bearing storms, what we have here is we strong updrafts. Pretty much all storms are like this and as they start to grow. It's that rising air that we had talked about in class. Air rises and as it does, it cools because the pressure drops and so the temperature drops. They both work together in the atmosphere. If one goes up, uh, the other goes up. If one goes down, the other goes down. So as the air is rising, the pressure drops, the temperature drops, and there's very cold air aloft because of that. So you you have ice particles uh, in basically ice crystals in the clouds and they start to rise as they do they will grow as they gather more ice crystals and then they kind of swirl around in the storm and get some of the raindrops to coat them so if you cut a hailstone in half it has rings almost like tree rings and then eventually if you've got a strong updraft uh, signifying a very strong thunderstorm it can carry a very large hailstone eventually a strong updraft can't handle the hailstone anymore and gravity will take over that hailstone will drop to the ground and that's what causes the hail to form. So what about lightning in these storms? Well, we've got charges in the atmosphere and there's a charge differential, negative charges up in the sky here, and then you've got positive charges near the ground. Lightning will occur as that electrical discharge and then the charges are redistributed. So you have positives and negatives here. And so constantly there's thousands of thunderstorms going on around the world at this instant, at every instant, that's the case because it's constantly battling uh, the friction of the air actually rubbing against the ground, just like when you rub your feet in the carpet, it creates static electricity and the lightning is basically uh, balancing those charges out. There's other things going on with hail and the clouds as well that causes issues with charges, but that's how it uh, balances out. And this is the most important thing. The time lapse between lightning and thunder, every five seconds, is one mile. So if you see the lightning and then you count to 10 and then the uh, you hear the th clap of thunder, that means lightning is only two miles away. So when it's under 10 seconds, take shelter. I didn't know that about hail yeah. either, that if you cut open a hail stone. Yeah, stone? Tree, ri uh, tree rings. It just circles. It, it looks like it's an crazy. everlasting gobstopper. <laughs> exactly, Roland. <laughs> and just that's what the, the kids are thinking. <laughs> that's what they're Thank all thinking you, about. Roland. <laughs> Thanks, Scott.